People, so who y'all think lying? Sabrina or Tia and Tiny? I feel away. I do. Hey guys! Welcome, 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 welcome! Come through, guys! Come through! This is your girl B Lover, and I am here with another video. Guys, I didn't mean to start off my YouTube channel like this, but I have girls and I feel some type of way about this situation that I'm about to speak on. I really feel a kind of way because T.I. and Tiny are actually a couple that I like. T.I. and Tiny are actually a couple that I actually looked up to. You know, he's made a whole bunch of dumb mistakes that we've heard about. I'm not going to say that we know of that we've heard about. She've tried divorcing him, and this was all in the public. But they've recovered, and as far as we, the public, know, they've been doing good. But then this foolishness comes out. But, guys, before we continue, I want to thank all, all of you guys, my wonderful new subscribers that are going to go this journey with me. I thank you. I welcome the others that are going to join the Lovers Bunch. We a bunch of lovers over here, guys. We're going to do it all. But the main thing we're going to do is love on each other. We're going to speak our truth while loving on each other. So thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Please like my videos. Please share them. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. And please, guys. Please leave a comment. Engage with me. Tell me something about the video that you didn't like. Tell me what I can do better to make it more funny, more listen worthy. Just engage with your girl. I'm here for it all. You know, each one, teach one. Help me grow. Thank you. Anyway, back to this T.I. and Tiny Foolery. I feel just like I felt when the whole R. Kelly debacle came out because I love R. Kelly's music. Don't, guys, my playlist, half of it was probably R. Kelly. That's how much I loved his music. And I'm not going to say that I don't like his music anymore, but I listened to it with a little bit of hesitancy now you know because of all of this because i feel like grown men grown men with kids with daughters the age of the age you are taking advantage of grown men shouldn't be doing that foolishness come on i mean nobody should be taking advantage of nobody when we reach a certain age we all have consensual sex and you're free to do whatever it is in your bedroom. I don't want to be in your bedroom because in my bedroom, it's not pretty. But that's up to us grown folks as long as it's consensual, you know. But then it's a whole different story when you sit in there drugging people kids sitting there intimidating people kids sitting there threatening somebody's daughter you know that's a whole new level and that i don't condone do i believe everything that's out there no no i don't but what i do know is that where there's smoke there's fire so, out of all these girls that came out there, let's say 15, what I heard, 11, 15, that's the to-go number. Even if, even if all 15 didn't go through what they said they went through, I'm pretty sure there are at least two in the bunch 
at least one, and that's one too many. You know? I don't care if it's one. It's one too many. Especially when you out there having daughters, you taking your daughter to the gynecologist to make sure she's still a virgin. You protective of yours. You know? But then you sit in here taking advantage of somebody else's. So you have feelings for yours, but what happened to mine? Where my feelings at? And then I know some of y'all gonna sit there and say, well, they all think about the money and they look for it because they was grown and they knew what they was getting into. Baby, they grown, 18, 19, 20, 21. But your ass, grown, grown, should know better. Tiny, I like you. I really did. And I pray that half of the stuff they're saying is not true. I, I, I really pray it's not because I think... You are such an upstanding person. You know what I've seen in the media. I don't know you personally, but what I've seen in the media. I've been following you guys for a long time. You and Toya, Tia and Tiny. You guys were just one of my, are just one of my favorite couples. Because I'm not going to sit here and say y'all guilty because you innocent until proven guilty. You know, but it's disappointing. I'm very, very, very disappointed. I am. And I'm hoping it blows over. I'm hoping it's not true. I'm hoping that it's all he say, she say. But people, who do y'all think telling the truth? And who's lying? Do you guys believe um, Sabrina? Or do you guys believe T.I. and Tiny? What I will say, if you guys follow me, um, follow Tasha K. Because the interview she did around Sabrina Peterson and um, all about the tea, they be having some good, um, they be having some good, um, Interviews, not even interviews, live chats, yeah, all about the tea. If you follow them and their subjects around this whole debacle, like they spoke with the attorney and all of them, you have girls that came out and say because of the drugs that they were given that night, they became drug addicts, which... I know because it's out there well this is my thoughts and my feelings because I'm not discrediting nobody and their story yet still I'm not going to say that because I don't know. What I was going to say is I find it hard to believe that that one time drugging turned you into a drug addict. But I had to sit down and think and realize that um, it only takes one time for you to taste some stuff you've never had before and like it. And then it becomes a habit and that habit becomes an addiction. So I apologize. It only takes one time. So who knows? I don't know. But what I will say is, why it took you so long to come out? And then you came out, and my thing is, go to the police instead of social media, you know? And then we might say, yeah, but the police covers up stuff because the attorney said, Sabrina Pearson called the police when T.I. pulled the gun out on her kid. But yet still, he pulled the police report and ain't nothing in there. 
and the child that was eight at the time that's don't get me wrong i can't remember the exact age but he could remember exactly what was going on that day when he got that gun pulled on him and i'm gonna tell you this i'm gonna tell you this after I heard Billy, that's the girl that Tasha K interviewed, saying that as soon after it happened, Sabrina called her. So she do believe it happened. And the boys remembers detailed what happened that day. T.I., you messed up. You messed up. You don't pull no gun on nobody's cheering. You don't pull no gun on nobody, especially when that's something you don't went to, you went to jail for this, gun charges. How, I, I don't even have the words to be honest, but my thing is, who are you? What was going on in your head at the time when you pulled out a gun on an eight-year-old? Were you that high? Were you on drugs? What was going on in your mind at that time? This is a defenseless child. You mess with this kid for the rest of his life because this is something that he remembers step for step exactly what he was eating, everything about that day. What goes on in your mind? And, and, and then, Sabrina, how do you stay friends with these people? Someone pulls a gun on my child and threatened me, and I'm going to be best friends with you? Where, when, how, who? Because we was finding some kind of, listen, they didn't want to help in Decap County. We was going to the next county. We were going to get some justice for my baby. I'm sorry. I play about everything else. But the ones God blessed me with. Ain't no amount of friendship. Ain't no amount of famous person. Ain't no amount of celebrity status. It's going to make me turn and look the other way. When you pointing a gun at my eight-year-old. Sorry. Not gonna happen. Nope. Never. Ever. Nope. Mm -mm. We ain't finna do it. Nope. And then the other thing is they talking about Sabrina into voodoo and all of that foolishness. Guys, I don't know how to feel about all of that, but what I will say is this. Is confusing. It's a whole lot that's going on, and I'm pretty sure everybody adding in their little pieces, bits and pieces. But what I will say is, T.I. and Tiny, you guys are dead wrong. Dead wrong. I don't, I don't, you having your three sons, your four sons, your seven sons, whatever, how many other sons you want to have. Kudos to you. Go ahead and do it. Get some daggone adults to do it. You know? Get some people in their legit mind who know what they're doing and say, yup, there's the fun I want to have tonight and do it with them. But you don't go drugging people, you know, to have your way with them. You don't do that. You don't do that. I think it's messed up. And I think we need to start speaking out more. I mean, we speak out a lot now because we have the Me Too, move, the Me Too movement. And women are standing up more for themselves. And I said just now, why didn't the girls speak out beforehand? But let me correct myself and say that. I don't know what kind of positions you guys were in. I don't know what transpired. So, I don't know. 
why you didn't come out before them. Maybe this was the opportunity you were waiting for to come out and speak your truth. So I'm sorry. I apologize. But the thing is, I'm glad you guys did it now. I think no one needs to be able to get away with this foolishness. I think we all need to be accountable for the nonsense we do. We need to be accountable. And one thing I do know that that girl, my friend, Karma, she don't sleep. She comes around. She's going to let you play for a little bit, but then she's going to come right back around and bite you in the ass. And y'all, apparently, she got tired of y'all. And she's coming for you guys. Like I said, I liked you guys as a couple. I liked the platform that you guys were building. T.I., I thought you were so cool. I thought you were dope. Tiny. I really stuck up for you at times when people were saying you ugly. You look like this, that, that. My thing is always... <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I got a nasty cough. My thing was always, we don't look at the outside, we look at the inside. And to me, what you gave out to the world is that you were a nice person, a dope person. But this intimidating stuff and bringing women home for your man and all kinds of stuff, that shit is crazy. But then, yeah, you're going to sit there and go ahead and cry when he's cheating. I remember on one episode of Family Hustle, you sat there and said, yeah, you even F someone that, I, I, um, that was working for me. Well, now I want to say he F them because you allowed him to. You were bringing in a woman, so maybe he was drunk or high and he thought you brought her for him too. Now you can't be mad. Anyway, guys, if I continue talking, I love to talk. We'll be sitting here for the next half an hour, for the next two hours, but I want you guys to be entertained. And that was just my thoughts. It's Sunday morning early and your girl woke up and I was up watching some YouTube videos and this was just one of the stories that kept coming across my screen and I wrote it down as content that I wanted to bring to you guys but I actually was waiting for the resolution you know when we had a clear view to speak on it but it keeps coming up and I have daughters and this is something I wouldn't want to happen to my kid so I had to speak on it. I'm sorry. I had to say something about it. Guys, I feel a way. I feel a way. Because all these celebrities that I like keep disappointing me. So, I'm going to have to stop liking y'all. Until you start showing your true colors. And then I'm going to decide, do I like your true color? Or do I need to go with that one you were showing all the time? But anyway... That's what I got for today, and I'm going to go sit in my living room and think up some more stuff. Um, I did a video for you guys yesterday about um, the Carters. I'm about to post it in a minute, but guys, thank y'all for subscribing. Hang with your girl. I'm still trying to get the hang of this thing, but we got in there. Don't look at my videos and say, you could have edited better. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm going to get there. Eventually, we're going to have this thing correct. But subscribe, like, share, comment. And don't forget to tell your girl next to you about me. Right? Tell her. And as a matter of fact, ask me some questions. Ask me why the heck my face look like this. All right? Talk to y'all later.